When he reached advanced age, the holy book narrates that David found comfort in the care of a young maiden, considered the most beautiful virgin in the entire kingdom of Israel. This young woman was called Abishag, and her presence at the king's side generated an intriguing mystery. Although they did not maintain intimate relations according to the biblical account, the relationship between David and Abishag is shrouded in an enigma. This is because the Bible mentions that they did not have a husband and wife relationship. However, after David's death, the name of Abishag was involved in a landmark event. The plot that led Solomon, David's son, to order the execution of his half-brother Adonijah, who had ambition to marry Abishag. This situation has led scholars to debate the true role played by Abishag as David's companion. Was she a kind of nurse, caring for the elderly king? Or perhaps a concubine or second wife, whose relationship with David was not consummated in some way? Furthermore, Abishag is mentioned in the Book of Song of Songs of Solomon, suggesting a link with King Solomon. This fact led the heir to the throne to find her half-brother Adonijah's interest in her intolerable. The video explores exactly these questions, analyzing biblical clues and bringing to light different interpretations. Although Abishag was the Shunammite girl who nursed King David in his old age, her story is recorded in the opening chapters of the first book of Kings in the Old Testament. The exact meaning of the name Abishag is unclear, but some scholars suggest that it could be translated as, My father is a wanderer. The Bible does not provide many details about Abishag, but it appears in the context of the death of Adonijah, one of the sons of David. Described as a young virgin from the city of Shunem, which was about 26 kilometers southwest of the Sea of Galilee, she became part of the royal plot. Due to some possible exchanges of letters between the terms Sunamite and Sulamite in ancient texts, some scholars consider that these terms may be equivalent in the biblical context. This raises the interesting possibility that Abishag is associated with the Shunammite woman poetically mentioned in the Book of Song of Songs of Solomon. However, this idea is mostly seen as unlikely. Although there are uncertainties, the Bible reports that Abishag was a woman of great beauty. In the last days of his life, King David found it difficult to keep warm, even with many clothes. Before this, her servant searched for a young maiden throughout the kingdom of Israel, with the task of caring for him and warming him in their arms. This chosen young virgin was Abishag, who was of service to King David and was present at significant moments, such as when the Queen Mother Bathsheba reminded David of the oath taken that Solomon would succeed him on the throne. After David's death, Adonijah, also the king's son, sought Bathsheba to intercede with Solomon for permission to marry Abishag. This request was interpreted as a threat to Solomon's reign, as taking a woman who had been close to a previous king was often seen as a claim to the throne. Solomon considered this an affront to his authority and ordered Adonijah's execution. The discussion of Abishag's role alongside David is complex. Some consider her a concubine or wife of David, while others see her as a caretaker or nurse. Although the biblical text mentions that David had no relations with her, the way in which Abishag was associated with the plot with Adonijah suggests that she had an important role as a wife or concubine before the kingdom. However, it is difficult to determine with certainty what her exact relationship with the king was. The video analyzes these aspects in depth, exploring the interpretations and mysteries surrounding the enigmatic figure of Abishag. Certainly, the story of Abishag in the Bible offers a fascinating insight into the complexities of relationships and intrigues in Israel's ancient court. If you are already familiar with this story, or if this story is new to you, share your thoughts in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the channel for our upcoming videos.